now. We understand, we understand that culture has shifted and will always shift. When you bring on new agents, when you bring on um, and have growth that we've had, then culture will always shift, but it's, it's a good shift and it's totally okay. We create subcultures within the culture. So we're looking at everything on a very, very high level, big scale right now, and how can we better serve you guys? And so great things to come moving forward. So without further ado, let's go ahead and introduce our guest, Josie. I'm going to give you the mic for a quick second. Looks like you were working, but Josie, how do you know JJ? And welcome to Team Fast Meeting on this beautiful Tuesday morning. Thank you. Yeah, no, perhaps I'm working right now. Um, so I know we, we have uh, mutual friends. He's really good friends with uh, my brother and my family. So um, I know he's been doing real estate um, for for a long time since I met him. <laughs> um, and I've always been interested um, to be part of um, that industry. Um, I've been just a little bit of my background. I've been in the landscaping and um, now in the construction field for the past five six years so um i think a little bit of my passion for real estate has come from that you know um meeting with uh, people looking at houses um gardens things like that so um yeah beautiful beautiful and i think that those things that you've learned over your time in your career will play very well in this industry so Welcome, appreciate you being here. Uh, Ken Brown, you wanted to say hello and, and welcome you to the, our meeting this week, my man. How did you find out about this meeting and welcome? Hello, uh, Ken Brown. Um, I was at the meeting last week. Uh, I was introduced by Freddie. Um, I'm a relicensee and um, I really liked the team concept last week I seen. So I decided to join the meeting this week to see what it's about. Beautiful, brother. Well, thank you for being here once again. Um, team, do we have any other guests on the line that you guys would like to introduce? Feel free to introduce whoever you have here on the line today. No? All right, cool. You guys, we're going to rapid fire this meeting today. We do not have a teachable moment, but I do want you guys to do this. Do some cultural shout outs. And, and, and I want to really think about this, like people that are standing out in our cultural, in our culture, people that are doing things for one another, people that are embodying the spirit of this company and what we represent. So let's light up that chat down below. If you have anybody that you want to give a cultural shout out to, um, a win for the week, go ahead and light up that chat so we can share that. So feel free to use that. And I'm going to pull up my screen in just a second here. Um, before we get started, I actually wanted to turn it over to Miss Pam Spivey. I know I didn't ask you to do this, but I'm going to turn it over to you for a second. So, Pam, we have some good news. We're going to be bringing uh, Team Fast down to the Central Valley. So this is a big move. This is an exciting move. We're going to be looking at spaces in Stockton this week and hopefully lock down something within the next two weeks. And so, Pamela, kind of talk to me about your vision of growing on that part of the Altamont like on the spot thank you so much you got it <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's just that i feel like um for the central valley there is nothing like team fast you know so people do not have options i feel in the central valley because they don't even know that team fast exists or that type of environment so i see when team fast comes to central valley it's going to just be a, a game changer because it mm -hmm. does not exist right now as we speak I love it. And for all my Central Valley peeps, we're going to be meeting at the Boathouse in Lathrop in River Island. Help me understand what day it is. Again, it's Thursday. Thursday, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. So if you're in the Central Valley and you would like to join us for that meeting, we're going to have a videographer out there. I'm also going to talk about our directional focus and, and what we plan to accomplish out in the Central Valley. So looking forward to seeing you guys once again this week. And um, you guys did a great job on your video. Looking forward to seeing the final product all come together. So let me pull up my screen really quick, you guys, and we'll get right into the meeting and forgive all my tabs. All right, guys, so this week we are not going to do a, um, a, a, a shout out or excuse me, quick teaching moment. And I think we're going to lean to maybe changing the verbiage on that. But let's do this. Let's get right into productivity and new escrows. So CSU update, you guys, hours working on their business. You guys have been busy and I love this. So hours working on their business. Jay came in at number one at 33 hours. Great job, Jay. Number two was Peniz. Now Peniz is relatively new to the team, uh, logged 29 hours. Ronnie Escalante came in at number three. Uh, Vivian came in at number four and Amy Powlin came in at number five. So really great job in tracking your production and, and, and essentially moving your needle. 
hours working in your business. These are prospecting. This is hours uh, that are income producing activities. Ronnie Escalante, number one. Joey Duong at number two. Jay Singh at number three. Vivian Ho at number four. And Jane Hong at number five. Great job, you guys. Um, conversations. This is huge, you guys. Look at the conversations you guys are having. Now, Panise, like I said, relatively new, 39 conversations that she tracked from last week. Norman, 27, coming in at number two. Armando coming in at number three. Jay Singh came in at number four. And Sandy, once again, one of our newer agents coming in at number five for conversations about real estate. So great job to everybody. Let's talk about buyer showings. Uh, buyer showings, uh, Ronnie Escalante, once again, came in at number one. Damian Bledsoe came in at number six. Vivian came in at number three. Armando came in at number four. And uh, that was tied with Jason Ellis for number four. So great job to you guys. You guys. Uh, attending CSU Mastermind last week, I realized this about CSU. CSU is definitely underutilized by us as a company and as a team. What I want to highly encourage you guys to do is use CSU to track everything. I know some of us are doing this, but not saying you have to, but I would recommend that you put in, you know, transactions and volume, how many appointments I went on that it took me to finally write an offer and how many offers have I written to finally get in the contract. That way you could start looking at your business and really be data-driven about your business. Then if you're having a challenge with, hey, I've met with a hundred clients, nobody wants to write an offer or I've wrote 20 offers and nothing gets accepted, maybe there's an opportunity for us to coach. Maybe it's the verbiage, maybe it's the communication, maybe it's the follow-up, whatever that is. But the more you track, the better you're going to be able to understand how to move forward in your business and really gauge your production as you grow, um, because it's about to get extremely, extremely busy for you guys. Let's go to community contributions. I want to turn it over to you guys for a quick second to talk about things that you're involved in the community, things you want to share about. Um, so go ahead, you guys, anybody have anything in the community that they want to talk about, feel free to grab the mic and talk about the community contributions because it is a very special time of the year. And I know you guys have your hands in many things all throughout the day. So feel free to take the mic and anybody wants to spit some game on what they're doing in the community. Anybody? Anybody have anything planned for Halloween? I'll, I'll talk. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing a Halloween event in Maxwell Park on Halloween. I know it's the same time as the office event, so I haven't been talking much about it, but the city of Oakland did kick my behind and tax me more than expected, but I got it all and everything situated and going, going. So excited free candy for the kids on Halloween in Maxwell Park. It's an area that I'm farming. I also live in Maxwell Park. So I've just been um, trying to reach out and do different things to get to know the neighbors in the neighborhood. Um, a couple months ago, I did the back to school event where I got school supplies for 100 kids. Thank you for those that donated for that event as well. So I'm excited. Good. Love it. Love it. Who else, you guys? Anybody else doing anything in the community that they want to speak about? Um, we are. So this weekend, we're going to have our Halloween party, um, our, our Halloween walkthrough. So we're going to have the DJ, the photo booth, and this, it's going to be lit. And it's going to be nice. And anybody in the River Islands area, come on through. And your, your event's on Sunday, right? Sunday, 6 to 9. Six and to Catal nine. Catalina's co-hosting it with us. Perfect. Yeah. If you guys, uh, please, Nicole, as well as Pam, go ahead and put that in the chat. Also, drop it in Slack. That way we know the details. Who else okay. has something going on in the community that they want to talk about? Uh, I'll go. got a mixer on Thursday, a little Halloween business mixer. And then Friday, um, a friend is uh, opening a new business. So going to go check him out, check out his studio and, you know, go support the homies. Love it. I love it. So this business mixer, where is that on Thursday? So that is going to be at the Mix downtown. Downtown Sacramento. Sacramento, Sacramento okay, yeah. Cool. All right. So plug that information too. Um, we, you know, we'd love to come out and support you guys. If you guys are in the Sacramento area, go out there and check it out. So put that in Slack as well as down in the chat. Anybody else have anything they want to talk about in the community? Going once, going twice, move on. Cool. Let's move Jay on. Singh here. Am I audible? Oh, there you are. There you are, Jay. Go ahead, brother. How's it going, Team Fats? Good morning, everyone. Uh, I have a question for the team. Show of hands if I can get some participation here. Who here has heard of Amazon.com? Okay, well, I'm going to pick on Elias. 
Elias, did you know that when you use Amazon, they have a program called Amazon Smile that gives 0.5% back to a charity of your choice? No, the answer is no, I don't. I didn't know that. Uh, did anyone know that? Okay, quite a few hands went up, Jay. Once you have kids, you get hit up for that all the time. There we go, great answer. So. As you know, I'm a broken record here. I've been partnering with narca.org. Uh, it's a domestic violence advocacy group specifically focused on people in the South Asian, uh, in Asian community, though they serve anyone and everyone who needs help, including emergency housing, uh, food, uh, job training. So if you go to Amazon to the SMILE program and you type in narca, 0.5% of everything that you buy goes to this organization. And I know there's folks on the team who have volunteered uh, their money and time. And I really appreciate that. But for those who don't have perhaps the time and the inclination, just use that. I can put the link in the chat when I'm not driving. And I would love to absolutely get, you know, as much going out from the team out to that organization. Beautiful, Jay. Beautiful. I love it. Um, I don't know who Sid's phone is, but if could, Sid's phone can put yourself on mute, I'd appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, good stuff. Anybody else have any contribution, community contributions that they want to talk about? Donna wants me to bring up the um, Aria mixer that we will be having on November 11th here at the Fast House. Um, One more time, Viv, your, your audio is kind of spotty. Um, Aria, we are having our end of year mixer on November 11th. Hey, hold on, hold on. Sid's phone, can, can you put your thanks? Go ahead, Viv. I'll put, I'll put the link in the uh, comment section. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good stuff, you guys. Anybody else? All right, cool. Let's keep cruising. All right, guys, let's get right into new escrows and productivity. So Vivian on the map for 230,000. Um, Team Pui on the map for 200 or 465,000. Uh, and look at this, Kevin Magna for 290,000 and then Kevin Magna for 305,000. So I'm actually going to have Kevin speak for a second because I, I want you guys to understand this. Since July, Kevin has produced more than $10 million in volume since July. Kevin has one of the highest average sales prices in the entire company right now. His average sales price is hovering right around 1.4, 1.5. So when I say that you guys can make your entire year in a month, in a quarter, I absolutely mean it. And it's people like Kevin that show up and, and are proven that it could be done. Look at Jen Oak from last year. Jen Oak didn't have a, a contract for six months and end of the year at over $20 million in production. So it's being done and it can be done. Sometimes, and I said this in coaching yesterday, you got to have a breakdown in order to have a breakthrough. He made some small commitments to himself and he made sure that he stayed true to those commitments and look where his business is at right now. So Kevin, I want to turn the mic over to you, my man, to talk about these uh, great new deals that you got and talk a little bit about, you know, what you've done, because a lot of people don't see that commitment that you had behind the scenes, bro. So if I could turn the mic over to you for a quick sec. Thanks a lot. I, I appreciate it. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be here without Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 830 with Elias and the coaching. So I, I got to really shout that out and if you guys want to be held accountable, that that's the way to do it. And it'll put a fire under your ass and you will, um, you will begin to produce as a result of that commitment that you're making and the accountability that the team will hold you to. So, um, you know, these two, these two recent ones. Hold on, Kevin, um, Kevin you're saying a super important, Mylisha, I need you to mute yourself. Thank you. Go on, brother. Um, so the, the one of the leads, uh, she came in through my website and I could tell that there, there might have been a language challenge there. So uh, I reached out to Eric uh, Kang and to see if he knew anybody or, or he himself um, potentially spoke Korean. And uh, he pointed me to a, a relatively new teammate. She wasn't even on the team yet, Jane Hong. And so I, boom, Jane was coming over within the next couple of days and uh, we, she got this uh, this client kind of super comfortable, and we wrote on three different mobile homes in this one park that she wanted and conquered. We uh, wrote on the fourth one. We lost again on the fourth one. The buyer fell out, and I just happened to follow up like a couple days later. Like something was telling me I was going to check in, 
and I checked in with the listing agent and she goes, you know what, this thing's going to fall apart. Um, why don't you guys submit? And boom, we submitted and we got into contract last Friday. The client's super, super excited. Um, <clears throat> so I couldn't have done it without Jane though, because just having that, um, you know, I don't speak another language, but I would imagine speaking in your, your first language is really important. Um, so it made her, the seller, the buyer feel really comfortable. And uh, Jane's been great to uh, kind of help me with that. And I've just been running behind the scenes, getting all the paperwork done um, and just kind of project managing it for us to get this thing going across the finish line. The second one just happened uh, last night. Um, <clears throat> this buyer, we she's super cool, came through Flex. So thankful for uh, being on that team and the opportunity. Uh, she's just a, a early young grandmother wanting to be close to her daughter and um, they're her grandchild in Vallejo, uh, FHA buyer. Like, and so just super appreciative. Uh, we were not, we, there was three offers. We were the second highest, uh, but the um, listing agent told me yesterday that he chose us because I uh, was consistent in my communication and I was very organized and our offer was super clean. And I, those things I think came through um, my training uh, with you guys on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, from Karina and Molly's help in just dialing in my contracts uh, when I get them uh, prepared and uh, just my systems that we have in place then just keep running the place. So uh, mm -hmm. thank you very much for the opportunity and uh, appreciate that. Love it, brother. Love it. And you know what? These last two deals were, were the, um, the lower price points than any of the other deals that he had sold subsequently. But he didn't waver. He's like, this lady needs a home. She wants to be next to her grandbabies. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to love on this client. I'm going to give her the exact attention that she needs because all clients are equal no matter what. So he's not at this point where like, oh, I'm not going to work with them. They're looking for a mobile home. He dove right in and he's, he's, he's doing what he's can, He's doing what he needs to do in order to serve the client. Right? And so Kevin, great job, my brother, and really, really appreciate you and all of your hard work. So uh, let's get right back into this, you guys. Uh, cruising on, let me pull back up my screen. Sorry about this. All right, go and full screen and back at it. All right, guys. All right, so let's keep cruising here. All right, so congratulations to everyone that made it in that category. Um, you see this face twice. Congratulations, Martinique. Partnered with the deal, uh, 525 with Chris up in Sacramento. She also got on the board once again for 575,000. Um, great job, Martinique, Cynthia Peterson, 599000 and then Kelly O'Gorman and the real Ben Rojas uh, partnered up on another deal and got in contract for six seventy five. dollars um, I want to turn the microphone over to, let's see if any of these people are. So Ben, I'm going to turn the mic over to you, my man. I know that you've had some great success partnering with agents on the team, really spreading the love, giving them value, adding to their cup. So I want to turn it over to you, my man. Talk to us about this flex deal that you got in the contract. All right, cool. We're going to move on. Martinique and Cynthia are not on the line here today. So let me see. Chris, are you on the line today, brother? Okay, because they're busy out there showing home. So congratulations, to everyone that made it on this category. All right, you guys, you know them. You love them. <laughs> You knew I'd say it. Um, Will came in with two transactions for this past week, 635 and 710. And then Bet on Bowie came in at 730. But Will, don't slide away, brother. Come back. Come back, Will. Will, I'm going to have you talk about these two transactions, bro. Grab the mic and let's talk about it. Hi. Hi. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, no, talk about these transactions. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. So uh, one is in Flex. I met them less than four weeks ago. They're living in South San Francisco. So I'm grateful for the opportunity, you know, with me these days. One thing about, I want to talk about Flex that um, I closed three deals on Flex and we became friends and family. Like those are my clients for life now, right? So without Flex, this thing won't happen. So um, this is another one. I'm very, very grateful. They're super sweet to work with. Uh, the other one is my friend. <laughs> She's been looking for three years, so it's finally pull a trigger. So, yeah. Beautiful. All right, for, for people that don't know this, how many transactions year to date? And this is your very first year in real estate, so, so put them on game. 24. 20, 24, you guys. First year in real estate. Listen, it can be done. It's been done. 
Kevin Magna produced over $10 million of real estate volume in since July. Will has done 24 deals in his first year in real estate. There is so much success around us. And it's not just people that have been in the game for 15, 10 years. Those people are doing great as well. But it's people that are coming from different industries and saying, you know what? I'm going to commit. I'm going to commit, right? Winning is an option, you guys. He's going to say, you know, no matter what, I am going to win. He decided. He decided before he got his license that this is what he was going to do, that nothing was going to stand in his way. Appreciate you guys. Let's continue on. Kevin Bowie, congratulations to you as well. Um, all right, look, look at these smiling faces. PK on the board for 825000 Great job, PK. Run on and Mike Spivey on the board for 838000 So great job, PK. I'm going to turn the mic over to you. Let's talk about this deal, PK. This one is um, my first solo, the real listing that I've um, had. And it was really stressful. I have to say it was really stressful because the seller was super hands-off and this is a listing in San Jose, by the way, you guys, I live in Oakland. Um, so just commuting to San Jose on a regular basis, preparing the property, it was a trashed property, um, managing the whole process and then putting it on the market. Um, I have to say without the team, it would be impossible to sell this house because um, I was able to get almost every weekend that we had open houses and we had two weekends of open houses. Um, almost every time I had two other agents from team fast showing up, um, holding um, the open houses and also an opportunity for them to meet buyers in an area that I did not really have an interest in building my um, brand as much on the buyers. Um, so really have to say team had my back and I would have not been able to serve this client in San Jose without having such an incredible large resourceful team. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was stressful. We only received one offer. <laughs> um, and I made that one offer work. I was like, dude, if you don't accept this, it's going to be like 40 days and I can't go to San Jose for 40 days. <laughs> Well, great job. And now if you got those, those buyer leads from open houses, now you have partner agents in that area that you form a relationship with that yeah. you can partner on those future deals. Totally. Jay um, was a huge, huge asset um, throughout the open houses. I had, uh, I had uh, Christine and I had a couple other people. They showed up um, big time. So thanks. Jay, did you want to say something? You unmuted. <laughs> Do you want to talk about the locksmith? Oh my God. No, I think you need to talk about that because you manage it. <laughs> uh, really quickly, first time ever. Uh, now I've had issues where we can't open up the lock on a property, but I've always felt like, you know, I just need to push harder. Straight up, this lock broke. Three people cannot open this lock. We had to call a locksmith and the dude showed up immediately, like in 10 minutes, which is incredible. Absolutely incredible. I recommend him highly. But he said, Two hours later, this is the hardest lock I've ever tried to fix. It took two hours to fix this lock. Wow. So I take it we got into the house, though. Uh, and there was clients coming into the property. We had to find a, keep, a way to keep them entertained uh, while they were outside waiting to go. Like, it was incredible. And amazingly, another agent and I were able to get a buyer consultation waiting outside of a locked property for two hours. Got that wow. appointment and did it the next day. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, great job to you and a uh, great job on your first official project, solo project. Um, but like you said, it took a village to get you guys to the, to the finish line. So great job. Um, let's continue on, you guys. Let's keep cruising. Um, I see some new faces on here. Um, Raquel, she's one of our partner agents that used to be at Climb. Um, Serena, I, I think this is officially Serena's very first deal with us as an agent. So congratulations to Serena uh, with the help from her mentor, Will. And I, and I love this because um, Will was um, a mentee not long ago, and now he's mentoring and, and passing on the stuff that he's learned. So love seeing this partnership. Um, Eric Throm got on the board last week in a big way. 
one for 1.4 and one for 1.6. So incredible job, Eric. And then Ronnie Escalante got on the board for 1.650. So um, let's go over to Ronnie. Ronnie, are you on? Uh, yeah. So this was an interesting one. So um, I helped my friend to look for a property in Newark, which there's not that many at all. Uh, so we did a preemptive since the uh, listing agent says he accepts uh, preemptives. So the only interesting part over here was we did countered. And then a day later, uh, I kind of convinced my client that we have to go preemptive and we have to accept all their terms. Uh, we the, Their offer did expire. But the thing what happened is when we accepted all the terms, the listing agent didn't actually present the offer. Hmm. So he, and then he waited one more day. So it literally dragged four and a half days till he finally presented the offer to his list, to his sellers, which is, you know, time is of the essence in this situation. And Kevin already knew I was getting frustrated, but I had to maintain my cool, you know, because I don't want to piss off the other side at the end of the day. So I literally just be patient, be patient, kept my patience while maintaining my clients cool because they're getting frustrated too. So it was a, it was a very interesting weekend to finally he accepted our offer, uh, presented it to his sellers, which he thought that he was going to get more offers, but the storm kind of helped us. So I said, thank you, Jesus. But um, what he called us? And then he texted me Monday, would your sellers be, o be okay if someone comes in, another buyer comes in and pay you guys 50K? I'm like, no. And I told my seller, would someone trying to pay 50K over you guys, you guys by signing that contract just made you guys $50,000 more. So, wow. Yeah, it was an interesting wow. weekend. <laughs> wow. Well, congratulations. And Karina just gave you a shout out in the chat saying that you manage your emotion very well on both sides, bro. So congratulations to you. And um, amazing, amazing story, man. Let's keep cruising, you guys. Um, so I I'm going to stay on this for, for a quick second. So this week, you guys, we are not going to have a um, story of the week. And, and I want to tell you why, or the fast story of the week. The fast story of the week this is a collective fast story of the week. And, and, and I want to stay here for a second. When, when we started out the year, when we as a leadership team set out our company goals and what we were going to accomplish this year, as you guys recall, that company goal for the year was 500 million when we only did 126 million last year, right? And so we set this lofty goal for our company. We said, we are going to achieve this. We have the right talent. We have the right leaders. We have the right mentors. We have the right systems in place in order to be able to achieve 500 million by the end of the year. To think that this team was 12 people in January of 2020 to look around and now over 200 people at this company, seven offices, four offices coming soon with expansion teams in different markets. It's absolutely incredible. So right now, I want you guys to give yourself a giant round of applause because you are the fast story of the week. For closed escrows right now, we are now over our company goal of 500 million. We're at 505,805,384, and that's 678 sides. And our average sales price is hovering right around 746,000. So you guys, you did it. You accomplished what our goals were in the beginning of the year. Uh, congratulations to every single one of you. Um, Kenny and the rest of the leadership team, we cannot tell you how proud we are of this team. And now we are on the road to a billion dollars in production for next year. We're already setting our sights. My prediction for this year, based on how we're going and how we're trending, we're probably going to end the year right around $690 million in volume. Um, we are one of the fastest growing teams in California, and we are definitely the fastest growing team in the entire Bay Area. So give yourselves a huge shout out, round of applause, pat on the back, because you guys have done this. Pending escrows right now is 85 million, 109 sides. And we had 16 new escrows last week and a pending volume of 13,541 in, in one week, you guys. I, I, I'm constantly, constantly, constantly impressed with what you guys do, what you're able to accomplish. And something I took away last week from our CSU mastermind that- It's okay, mama. Um, hey, Mel, can you put yourself on mute? Yes. Mel's, got, Mel's got a puppy. <laughs> so one thing I took from the CSU mastermind last week is that, um, we can't always control our production, but the one thing that we can control is, is our standards and what we set for ourselves. You have to remind yourself, like, what is the standards that I choose for myself every single day? What are the standards and my values 
as a real estate agent, as a professional, what are my values? I narrowed my values down to two things, you guys. My values are discipline and energy. If you enter your, if I enter my day with tremendous levels of discipline in everything that I do, and I back that up with tremendous level of energy that I'm going to give to the world, my results are going to be vastly different, right? So I want you guys to stay true to what your, your values are, not our values as a company. And then I want you guys to stay committed to that and know that I can always control my standards. I can't always control my production. But I tell you what, if you put yourself on that pedestal, if you work your ass off, if you stay true to those values and the standards, the production will come. That's a byproduct of everything that you've put in forward in this business and, and, and your mindset. So um, I wanted to share that with you. There were a few takeaways. I have tons more, but I want to keep cruising. Congratulations to each of you. Um, let's do this, you guys. I want to talk about some things that are going on this week. Obviously, group coaching and our regular sessions that we have, but we have some cool things that are happening this week. So if you guys came to our foundation and preparation session a couple of weeks ago with Molly and I um, in Concord, it was a great event. So this week, we are going to be doing another one. It's on Friday from 10 to 1 o'clock in, um, in Concord. It is going to be foundation and preparation. However, this is going to be working with buyers and high note presentation. So we're going to get super laser focused on all the things that have worked for us working with buyers. And then if you don't know how to set up a high note presentation, we're going to walk you through this and we're going to make sure that we have a high impact session. So Molly, did you have any thoughts on this? Anything you want to contribute to this? Okay, Sorry. Um, <laughs> I was, um, um, no, just if you, you know, granted, like we were a team of like 30, 40, now we're over 200. So, um, day in, day out, I'm literally trying to get through Slack messages, wants, needs, orders, this, set up that, you know, going back and forth. So just bear with me if I don't get back to you right away. But for Friday's, um, presentation with Elias, um, it would be smart to make sure that you have your high note account and that you're able to access it. Friday is not going to be the day to be like, I want to sign up. Can you send me like, let's be there and let's be prepared. So if you need a high note or you need your password reset or whatever the case may be, just send me um, a Slack message and then I'll get you connected before Friday. Obviously, we might have some stragglers and we'll set that up in the morning, um, but just do that. If you have your headshots, be prepared to have your headshots, pull it up. So we're actually going to build the high note presentation and we'll go over some of the templates that are already in there. We'll look at other team templates, other ways to use high note. Um, so just think about some of the questions that you have. Um, in the very beginning, if you have questions about onboarding, we might have a quick abbreviated, you know, raise your hand, you have a question and we'll knock them out. Um, but, but this isn't the meeting for that. So we do want to encourage those agents who might not have come to the last one because, hey, I've already done my onboarding, you know, I have it handled. Um, just come prepared. Um, it's a working session. So bring your laptops, bring your pen pad, whatever for notes, but we'll kind of cover that. And if you have presentations that you want to share with the group, we're more than welcome to do that. If you have a dope presentation, we can even make, make it a template so that everybody can use it. But yeah, looking forward to seeing everybody on Friday. Yeah, you guys, this is going to be great. So we'll really break it down to, you know, lead to appointment. What happens once I get an appointment? What's that follow-up look like? What's my buyer's presentation look like? What's my buyer CMA look like? You know, how do I follow up? What's the sequence? And so we're going to talk about that. And we're also going to break everyone into these little workshops. We want to have people explain to each other in a group, well, how would you explain, a, 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 you know, contingencies? How do you explain your strategy? What is your strategy? And then we'll have you guys in these small groups present to the group because it's all about the collective wisdom and it's all getting better. So the session is going to be super, super impactful. So uh, whether or not you are brand new or you're a seasoned agent, this is open to everybody because we can all grow and share and contribute. Uh, John, I want to turn this one over to you. And I think that we are going to assign some team captains today. So, John, I want you to talk about this event that's going up, uh, going on up in East Contra Costa County. So, John, I'll turn the mic over to you. Yeah, for sure. So uh, Delta Association Realtors is pretty active up there. Um, there's, they put on a bunch of events and this is probably one of the biggest ones historically, obviously in the last couple of years has been weird, but hopefully it's back and back strong. It's the bowling tournament. Um, they dress up, people, you know, wear costumes. It's always been dressed up even when it wasn't by Halloween, but 
Uh, we're going to have a couple teams out there. I'm hoping Lisa and Jeff get, we talked about it over beers. So hopefully you remember, but uh, if you guys can still make it, maybe we'll make you guys team captains, but should be a good time if you can if you can make it by for a couple hours and and you know roll some balls and, and have a drink it, it should be fun awesome awesome um so let's continue cruising on um so updates john i know that we've talked about hayward i know we've talked about hercules coming soon i know that you just went and saw some new spaces in walnut creek you want to give everyone a quick update on offices yeah, so um, I think Kenny mentioned it last week, but Hayward, new construction, and it got pushed back. Uh, they're saying April now of next year. So Hayward, everything's all locked in with the lease. It's just coming down to the, the construction, and it's going to be a little while. Hercules, like at this point, I, I don't even want to talk about it because they've just gone back and forth. What happened with that one is that the building got sold to different owners after our deal was arranged. So there's just, they're basically not uh, you know, communicating that great um, soon <laughs> hercules soon uh toured some retail space in walnut creek with with kenny last week um you know that's that's a little ways out but sooner than later and we've, we've got some cool stuff in the works so we'll see what happens there and then um going to stockton tomorrow if you're if you're an agent in that area i think kenny added you to the stockton office channel and flex but if you're not in it look up that channel um we'll be looking at that to get feedback but we're touring at least a couple spots tomorrow so hopefully get something sorted out down there for the crew soon awesome super super excited and then you guys we are um right at the final stages of forming a partnership with a top team out in vacaville we're looking at a new retail space right across from merchant in maine it's right on main street in vacaville um like like someone said earlier um like pam was saying there's nothing like us out in Vacaville. So I think it's really going to shake some things up. The location is perfect. It's great for like trick or treating, for car shows, for just for like, you know, walkability. It's going to be incredible for our brand. So super, super pumped about the expansion of the team. And um, Molly, I'm going to turn it back to you. I know that we talked heavily about November 2nd, and I'm going to have you kind of talk to them about the importance of November 2nd and what we have going on for our big. Um, I know we have a new name for it. So I'll turn it over to you for a sec. Oh my God. I'm going to kill you, Elias. I know. I know. <laughs> you know. Love you too. <laughs> I see Lisa laughing. She knows. Um, so, okay. Oh my gosh. I was, you know, I don't like talking like that. Um, so next week, Tuesday, if you haven't already seen it um, or you haven't carved time out, next Tuesday, we're going to have an all hands on team fast integrate, innovate, and motivate meeting. You know, companies have their annual meetings and talk about vision and strategy for the upcoming year. So it's going to be something similar to that. Um, there's a lot of new things that we're implementing. Um, I don't want to say too much without giving it away, but if you can, it'll be um, our main session or our main collective whatever, where everyone's going to be, will be Oakland, but we are going to stream it to Brentwood and Walnut Creek. Um, we will have um, some leadership in place at those places. Lunch is going to be provided. Um, it's from 1030 to 130. It's just really important if everybody um, is in attendance, whether it's physically or you hop in on Zoom or you hop in at any one of the three locations. Um, there's some great things that um, are going to be happening and yeah, that's just one event you probably don't want to miss. So if you haven't come to the office, that might be the time that you do want to do it. Um, but good things are coming. Um, yeah. and I can't say too much because then it's no, just going to give away some of the gems. But tune in. Yeah, next week it's important. We won't, you know, obviously in lieu of our usual um, Team Fast meetings on Tuesdays, we're going to have this with leadership. Um, but yeah, mark your calendars if you haven't, um, plan on coming into the offices um, or tapping in, but yeah. And we agreed the time That's was right. going to be 10.30 to 1.30, right? Correct, yes. Cool. 10.30 to 1.30, you guys, same, same. Um, and what we're going to do is we're probably going to have it, um, we'll, we'll work out the details, but you guys can watch it from the main room, our, our bigger office in Walnut Creek. Same within uh, Brentwood, it's going to be, um, it's going to be a live stream. So you guys don't have to miss anything. And so this is going to be a huge company address. We're going to talk about where we are as a company, challenges that we face, how we're going to get better as a company, how we're going to improve. We're going to talk about comp plan. We're going to talk about the mentorship program. We're going to introduce some new leaders and some new roles within the company. So we're very excited. So I want you guys there 
uh, to support them and support their new journey. So I'm super, super stoked about this meeting. So uh, we're calling it Innovate, Integrate, and Motivate. That's the name of the session versus State of the Union Address because it sounded too political. So super excited about that. Um, before we get to the end of the meeting, does anybody from the leadership team have anything else they want to add? Did I miss anything? Uh, yeah, just really quickly, uh, you might have gotten it. Well, you should have gotten an email from Wooly, uh, I think it was Friday, asking for you to upload your photos, your team photos to a shared drive that we have. We're really wanting to put together a beautiful website and it's one of the missing final missing pieces. We want it to actually show your personalities anytime you're in Team Fast Swag, you know, when you're getting together with other team members, that kind of thing, trying to, you know, think light, fun, cute. Um, anyway, anything you think might might be presentable for the website, please upload your photos to that folder. Yeah. Um, and some of you may have tried to access it. Viv, I got your message about not being able to upload. So I changed the settings so that anybody who has the link um, has access to edit it. So you should be able to kind of do a photo dump. Um, but we just want pictures that encapsulate who we are as a team, community, culture, anything just exhibits who we are. Um, so we're looking forward to those, but um, yeah. Cool. Okay. Awesome. So I want to show, share something with you guys from um, group coaching on Monday. I thought this was powerful. We're going to be doing this every single Monday. So every single Monday, we're going to post all of our um, minimum standards for the week and everything that we're committed to accomplishing for that following week. Look at all the people that have added all of their, um, you know, minimum standards of what they will accomplish for the week. You guys, if you're not coming to group coaching, I want to highly encourage you to get involved with this group. This is an amazing opportunity for you to hold yourself accountable, to push yourself, and then declare to the world what you are going to create and what you are committed to creating in your business. So shout out to everyone that was there on Monday. Looking forward to circling back and ask you guys, did you win the week, right? Did you win the day? Did you win the week? And uh, being able to share those successes with everyone. I, I, I wanted to ask a question. I thought it was powerful. I heard this last week, so I wanted to ask you guys this. How successful are you willing to allow yourself to be? And ask yourself that, right? Like, do you set limitations upon yourself? Do you set excuses upon yourself? Um, are you standing in your own way? How successful are you going to allow yourself to be in this environment? And what would your business be like if you executed daily? If you're able to simplify your business and just execute daily, what we tend to do is we talk and we don't take action. All I want to see from everyone is to simplify and take action and allow yourself to be the person that you've said that you've always wanted to be. Each of you have that ability to do so. So that was my question for the week is how successful are you willing to allow yourself to be? Who am I doing this for? What am I doing this for? And, and what do I want to achieve in my life? You guys ask yourself those questions. I'm really looking forward to our November 2nd meeting. We're going to come with the fire. All I want for you guys to be there, to learn, to listen, to have an open mind about everything that we're going to roll out as a company. We need you guys' support. We need you guys on board. So we're looking forward to that. So before we head out, it's 1120. We've got 10 more minutes. Does anybody have anything that they want to share before we cut out today? Yeah. Hey, Elias, can I say something real quick? Go ahead, JJ. All right. So I just closed the deal in San Pablo for 600000 last week. Um, but that's not the important part. The important part is the people who who I close this deal with, long-term clients of mine. He started off as a dishwasher. He's now just a line cook. And she, and I say just a line cook because once I'm done with the story, you'll get it. She is a part-time waitress, okay? They bought a $600,000 house. They've been with me for about 12 years. Yeah, about 12 years. They bought a house. I told them about house hacking before house hacking was an actual hashtag. Um, they, they rented out a room slowly, but surely they bought a bigger house, rented that one out. They added an ADU to the second house. Now she is a part-time waitress. He is still just a line cook and the $600,000 house they're moving into. They put 50% down. Their mortgage is being paid by the other properties that they have. So talking about simplifying your life, this is something that I helped them achieve. They did it. I just kind of schooled them on how to do it. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is there's a lot of people doing a lot of production on this team. Think about what you're doing with all that cash. Teslas are beautiful. All you need is one, maybe two, if you will. You know, 
Jewelry is fantastic. Vacations are great, but there's nothing better than not having to work. Trust me. I know this personally. So these are just regular people who were simplified their life and they did exactly what I told them to do. And that's something that you guys should consider. I don't care what you decide to do, whether it's income property or, or stocks or whatever, but really start considering where you're going to put that money. Um, so it starts working for you and you don't have to have to work every single day. You can do whatever you want with it. Anyway, sorry. Didn't mean to take so long. No, dude. Well, that needed to be said. That's that's a beautiful story. Beautiful. Anybody else have something they, they want to share before we head out today? Shout out to Kenny for letting me use that office on Saturday. Sorry, you had to clean it up for like two hours. Um, dope space to throw a party, though. Totally. <laughs> right? Totally. Uh, anybody else? Um, I was going to say real quick. So one of my first calls when I first started in July was when Kevin had his moment and I cried with you because I was like, damn, he, he, he's grinding. He's frustrated. What do we do? And then I just wanted to say, I'm so excited for you and I'm happy everything is broken through. He's not breaking down. Mm. Love that. Love that. So you guys, I, I want to leave you with a thought and with a potential challenge for each of you. If you guys were at Kenny's uh, branding and workshop, branding workshop that we did last week, which we're gonna be doing that every two weeks. I thought it was really powerful. Um, we had a social media guest come on and um, he wanted to challenge everybody. And I went a, a layer deeper and I challenged everybody about doing a 30 day challenge in um, November. Now this is a community challenge. This is an area challenge, or this is just a challenge in general to do something on social for 30 days couple of things that came out of it. Well, I'm going to go and feature every single restaurant within my Concord community or wherever I live for 30 days. And we're not saying you have to go in there and interview them. You don't have to have the videographers come out like, hey, you guys, I'm at so-and-so barbecue. I'm out here representing them, about to get the tri-tip. You guys, one of the best places to visit. Go and check this place out. Cool. That's day one. Number two. So, so whatever the case is, it's consistently for 30 days, right? Hey, guys, I'm going to tell you about the 30 things to do in Piedmont over the next 30 days. So follow along with me, right? One a day, right? Hey guys, I'm going to tell you about all the key places to eat Asian food in, in, in Oakland. I know all the spots, right? I'm going to tell you about every great coffee place from here to Berkeley in the next 30 days, whatever it is, but consistently on social media. And then you tag that restaurant or that place or that purveyor or whatever it is. And then when people are seeing them that follow them, they're going to see you like, oh, that's a cool video. I'm going to follow that person. And the guy that we spoke about was this triangle of engagement, right? You tag them, they tagged you, their, uh, their followers follow you. And so it's this triangle of engagement. Also, what it does is it pushes you guys to hold yourself accountable and it challenges you. So whether it's 30 days of gratitude, 30 days of restaurants, 30 days of top parks, Kevin Magna is doing the top parks in San Ramon and Danville area with his kids for 30 days. Think about the engagement that he's going to get on social by simply doing that and doing that consistently. So I want to challenge you guys. Tons of opportunities for you guys to go and make November a, a, a great month of momentum, right? November is where we're staking our claim and saying, you know what? I'm going to make sure that I have a great Christmas. I'm going to make sure that I have an amazing start of my new year and I'm going to head into that new year with momentum. So if you guys are creating videos, the one a days. Tag Kenny and I, we want to support that. We want to share with the masses. I heard from Viv last week, Kevin Magna, Alex. Uh, I, I don't remember everybody that said that they're going to do this 30 day challenge. So looking forward to seeing everything that you guys create. And so I think I'm, I might do one yet. I, I don't know what it is, but I, I want to join that. And I want to do it because I know it's going to hold me accountable. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. If hey, Elias. Yo. Can, hey, it's Mel. I just wanted to say something really quick before we get off. Um, so I'm going to host a Friendsgiving event at my house and we're going to get it catered and we're going to have like a whole cheese plate and we're going to do a really fun event at my house on the third week of November. So I just wanted to extend the invitation to all Team Fast members. I'm also going to invite Envision. We'll have Brooks out there. We're just going to like have a good time. We'll have some music. We'll have some drinks, open bar, all that stuff. So I'll make a flyer for it and I'll put it in Slack, but just put it on, you know, the back of your minds that I'm going to do a Friendsgiving event for Thanksgiving. And I just want to celebrate with you guys and drink and, and, uh, you know, just have some fun. So um, it's welcome to all team fast members. And I really hope that you guys can all make it. Can we bring animals? 
<laughs> yeah, I live in a zoo. Of course you can bring animals. <laughs> awesome. Looking forward to that, Mel. All right, guys. Hey, if there's nothing else, we're looking forward to seeing you at next week's meeting. Looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow at group coaching. Um, like I said, if you want to come three days a week, come three days a week. If you want to show up a couple times of the week to get a little checkup from the neck up, get some motivation, hear some insights. Cool. It's open up to everyone. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. Mel, we're looking forward to breaking bread at your zoo. And uh, as always, if you guys need anything, please let us know. Keep it moving towards your dreams, goals, and vision. And I appreciate you guys and job well done in exceeding our company goal. Appreciate you all.